Hi there folks, uh, back again for another video. In this one we're going to be looking at SBG Magazine's issues 13 and 14, which are available for you to get your hands on. I'll have a link down below so you can go and check those out. Um, I got sent these uh, by Tom and Damien uh, to have a look through and just a preview. I'm not going to be showing you everything in these because unfolding the spectacle of these is one of the great things of diving into the magazine so i'm not going to do like a blow by blow of everything in here but it's uh, well worth just having a flick through these and showing you what you can read about when it comes to picking these up um just a word to begin with i think as well i, I think these magazines are an epitome of exactly why um the Middle Earth community and the strategy battle game community is one of the best ones out there in the wargaming world. Um, you very rarely see negativity. And one of the nice things about it is that everyone seems incredibly encouraging and enthusiastic about it, mainly because of the I think the game has gone through some ups and downs in its, in its past, as we've talked about in previous videos. Um, but the really nice thing about seeing stuff like this is that it's community driven, it's fan driven, and it shows off a love for the source material, the miniatures range, the painting, the hobby, and everything else in between, and does it in a really good way. Um, and if you're somebody who's been looking for a community to dive into and have fun with, um, and not feel like you're... Um, on the outskirts looking in but genuinely part of it from the very beginning i would heartily recommend diving into middle earth community on facebook or anything like that um and picking up these magazines as well because they are genuinely uh, a great read so uh, we're gonna have a flick through here so a little breakdown so uh, in issue 13 we've got damien tom dave alex rick and kev so alex from battle camp has come on board for this one as well i always have this little thing at the start it's a great kind of like a hey learn a little bit more about the uh, the writers and stuff as well which is quite good uh we've got an article from damien here where uh, he talks about diving into each of the different game systems well, as they came out originally. So you've got the Fellowship of the Ring, the Two Towers, and the Return of the King. Uh, very similar to me, actually. Uh, I played through the R Fellowship of the Ring and actually got the box set Christmas. Uh, there's also a breakdown of the Two Towers and how it sort of changed towards army-based uh, gameplay. And then, uh, similarly to Damien, I didn't really dive into the Return of the King box until much, much later on. And obviously, I've now got a video about that on the channel so you can go and check that out but it's a really nice breakdown of kind of the feeling of diving each of the, into each of those boxes and why it was so cool and it's always nice looking back at this kind of stuff because it sort of hits all those nostalgia buttons for me um, and it's been uh, really fun reading each of the Doctor's Corners uh, segments as we go through. Next up, we've got a Tactica but not quite Tactica article from uh, Alex from Battle Camper. Uh, definitely go and check out Battle Camper on YouTube. I'll have a link down below so you can go and watch the videos and stuff um, because Alex does some really, really fantastic videos that are very inspirational. Um, tends to go out into the wilderness and paint miniatures, uh, so painting Rohirrim horses with horses or going on top of mountains to paint miniatures. Um, they are, they're really fun videos. Uh, and Alex has a great um, sort of charm about him. <laughs> and it's uh, infectious when it comes through and really gets you thinking about where you want to go with your painting. And also, very inspiring. I love the idea of doing some sort of camping hobby, um, maybe painting up trees in a forest. Uh, I think that'd be really fun, working on some ends in the middle of a wood. Uh, but yeah, really good one, sort of breaking down why Rohan is awesome, but also talking about it from a sort of tactical sense as well. Uh, you've also got this really good uh, My Favourite Character article, uh, which is all about uh, Tom talking about Gandalf in particular here. Um, in this one, we've got a really good sort of look at Gandalf as a character, but also Gandalf in game and sort of how uh, he's changed over the various editions of it. This is one of those articles that really hits all the nostalgia buttons for me and also reminds me why I love Middle Earth so much. Um I love reading through this and being like, oh, yes, that's why I like X or Y. And oh, man, I really want to do that. On this, for example, I read this and I really wanted to go back and paint some Gandalf models uh, and uh, and start looking at uh, doing more on that side of things. So you got to look at Gandalf with, again, beautiful photography throughout. There's a beautiful painting masterclass there as well. 
but how to bring Gandalf to life, and one uh, where you're showing off uh, Aragorn stopping Theoden from killing Grima. And then, oh my god, this battle report, the assault on Edoras, is just beautiful. If anything was inspiring, it's it's this kind of thing. Um, the amount of models, the amount of terrain, the amount of effort that has gone into writing it is just brilliant. And every page is just a gorgeous, sort of eye-wateringly staggering uh, moment of enjoyment. Um, and I really love... What I do with battle reports, I tend to flick through them first and look at the pictures, and then I go back through and I read all the captions and sort of get really it's like stuck into all the details and things. And be like, oh, what's that? And who's that there? And then I go back and do the reading of the actual battle report. And it means that you get like three times the amount of enjoyment out of a battle report than I, uh, than I normally would. But just look at the amount of effort that these folks have put into this. And obviously I'm not going to uh, dive too deeply into... Uh, the outcome of all of that, but it's definitely worth having a look at it and seeing what you think. There's also a really good breakdown of how to build Edoras and sort of building up the terrain in different ways and doing some scratch building and stuff. That Medicelled, by the way, is just brilliant. And from somebody who's been talking about Beowulf for the last couple of weeks, um, having that mighty hall there on top of the hill just is, is gorgeous. Um, so really good stuff there from rick but yes so this magazine focuses on sort of the start of that two tails journey and uh, the defense of edoras there absolutely beautiful photography throughout uh, and an absolutely stunning read really good for hitting all of those nostalgia <laughs> beats for the movies and definitely want makes you want to sort of break them out and start watching them again maybe i'll crack out those blu-rays this time or the slightly upper level hd finagly ones whichever one they want to do now i don't i don't know i don't think i have a good enough telly to do it anyway but uh yeah gorgeous stuff there once again for issue 13 make sure to get your hands on that one so this one was out in spring 2023 uh and then the newest uh magazine of the lot is issue 14 which is the autumn issue and as the cover would suggest it's helms deep Look at that. That is still one of my favourite Aragorn models. And just the spectacle, again, is off the charts. Um, so this one is another deep dive into the 2000, playing out the Battle of Helm's Deep. Uh, so in this one, we've got Damien Thomas again with Dave, Phil, Andy and Elliot. A really fun uh, sort of little breakdown at the start. Again, this competition, I recommend everyone... Dive in and see if you can find out the reference. I think I've worked it out. I'm not going to make any, uh, I'm not going to drop any clues in, but uh, it's a fairly fun one and especially good if you've watched a lot of the Two Towers and know some of the stuff behind the scenes for uh, the Battle of Helm's Deep there. But yes, so we have a look at. Um, just Helm's Deep in all of its glory. I mean, this is phenomenal. This is the kind of thing that you see at like, well, this is the kind of thing you don't even see necessarily at Warhammer World, uh, but we probably should, where you've just got, you know, Gandalf riding forth with Aomer and everyone in tow, charging into the heart of the battle. You've got the Sally from the gates with Thayad in there. You've got the Urukai pushing up the walls. The deeping wall smashed and broken and destroyed. The fight in the Hornburg and everything. Oh, it's just amazing. It was a really good breakdown of how Helm's Deep came to life. It's a phenomenal board and one that I think anybody would be particularly proud to paint on. Well, play, play on, not paint on. We've also got this really good um, little article of, ha of painting up models over the course of watching all of the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings films. Uh, so over 24 hours and it's really fun reading through that it's definitely something i want to try and do myself actually we've also got this huge battle of helms deep uh battle report which again is just phenomenal i mean and you get pictures like this which are inspirational in their own right I mean, these are the kind of things that when I was younger, I would take out the magazine and stick on the wall. <laughs> 
they're so gorgeous but again i'm not going to go too much into too much detail when it comes to uh helm's deep there because obviously you don't want um uh, anything spoiled for you particularly um but there's a really nice um uh, there's a really nice way that they've set this up where they've broken it down into scenarios rather than it being played out as one larger thing but it all sort of like flows together really nicely it's it's very well done and it takes up the majority of the issue because of course it does um it's a huge battle and it definitely uh requires the amount of time spent doing that we've also got this uh favorite character article about gimli which again is really nicely written um uh phil has done a really good job on it and um it's again just lovely reading through this and being like oh that's why these characters are amazing um like you there's lots of things in here with about gimli that you know people would be familiar with but there's other things that people wouldn't be necessarily be familiar with like for example with the uh gandalf article there's a really nice little sort of box out uh which talks about gandalf um before he became gandalf essentially in the in the manuscripts from from tolkien and so reading stuff like that is just beautiful for kind of enhancing your experience of the games i have those original three books there somewhere on my well, actually i don't my my mum does on her uh shelf somewhere i did read her original version of the hobbit though although she got me a new one because i had read it to destruction but there we go <laughs> so yeah a nice breakdown of gimli there and why he's awesome and a painting tutorial for him as well and then one for tossing your dwarf across the uh gap I had to defend the gate, which I think is quite cool. So yeah, this art, this one uh, is the newest of the uh, magazines, issue fourteen. Absolutely stunning breakdown of the Battle of Helm's Deep in all of its glory. Beautiful photography throughout, as always, and definitely worth uh, flicking through if you are uh, someone who loves Middle Earth or someone who's sort of interested in wargaming in, in particular I, I think the way that they conduct their articles and the way that they do their battle reports is really like on the money um it's sort of engaging and personable uh whilst not sort of beating you over the head with um uh, <laughs> rules and all that kind of thing so it's just the right amount of sbg nerdiness um i think for people to enjoy um so yeah Definitely make sure to go and get a look at these. Maybe get them in your uh, post box over the next little while. Uh, you can go over to the SPG website. As I say, law will be linked down below so you can go and check these out. See what you think. Give them a read yourself. The Two Towers. I know a lot of people say that Fellowship of the Rings is, or Fellowship of the Ring is their favourite movie. But for me, The Two Towers. That's uh, just the introduction of Rohan. And the exploration of Rohan as, as a as a as a people's um, Helm's Deep, Theoden, all that kind of Anglo-Saxon Dark Age imagery is just stunning. And these magazines have done exactly what I think they set out to do, which is to get you inspired to do more Middle Earth hobbying. I I read through these, and even though I have things sitting on the painting table for the wild west and napoleonics and the dark ages um i am immediately thinking about hey wouldn't it be awesome if i did x or y and dive into doing some more elves or painting up some different characters um getting some of the rohan models that i haven't necessarily um snapped up from the collection and getting them added into the mix um so yeah it's uh it's a great magazine um, that does a sterling job of getting people excited about the hobby. And I recommend that you go and check them out. So yes, now I've gushed suitably enough, uh, make sure to go and check these out. Uh, as I say, there'll be links down below for you to go and uh, get your hands on these. Um, drop the folks at SBG an email, and they should be able to get them sent out to you. Um, there's also some free issues. If you want to go and read those. Uh, there's free PDFs of some of the earlier issues in the run. So you can go and um, have a read and see what you think of some of their earlier work. And again, see more of their beautiful photography and battle reports and everything else. Um, yeah, uh, as always, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. 
Tell me if you agree that the SPG community is the best community in the wargaming world. Um, Because I think it it darn well is. Uh, Especially when it comes to the tournaments and everything. I I really need to go to some tournaments. But everyone seems to have so much fun at those. And it's definitely something that needs to be on my radar, I think, in the near future. Take an army and actually play some competitive games, I think. Uh, But yeah, like, share, comment, do all that good stuff. There's also a Ko-fi link down below. So if you enjoy what I do and you want to help me out in some way, uh, you can also dive in there and uh, uh, drop me a little bit of extra moolah, potentially, or a cup of tea or a cup of coffee when I'm out looking for hobby supplies and everything else in between. Uh, But yeah, stunning work once again by the uh, folks at SBG and uh, heartily recommend them as a, uh, a little group doing amazing work in the Middle Earth sphere. I've waffled on long enough. I think it's time to go and set up a siege or maybe join the Three Hunters and get painting up some of their fantastic models. And uh, I'll be back in the near future. Bye for now. Bye.